Have you ever wanted to control a computer or device using only your mind? I mean, it sounds crazy, but this sci-fi dream is on the verge of reality thanks to Elon Musk's Neuralink, and human trials are about to commence. Imagine a fully paralyzed patient miraculously feeding themselves via signals from implanted electrodes connected to their brain. We stand at the precipice of such medical marvels, with Neuralink's landmark FDA approval to start testing their brain-computer interface on volunteer your patients. In this video, we'll break down everything you need to know about Neuralink's history, their innovative approaches, how their technology works, and what we can expect as human trials commence. Stick with us as we dive into the nitty gritty behind this trailblazing company that seeks to merge human and artificial intelligence through brain augmentation. First, a quick background on Neuralink for those unfamiliar. Founded in 2016 by tech visionary Elon Musk, Neuralink aims to develop ultra-high bandwidth brain computer interfaces to connect humans and computers. Their initial goal? To help quadriplegics and others with neurological conditions regain mobility and independence. In many ways, Musk and his team are building on decades of academic research into implantable brain devices. But as we'll see, they're pushing this technology further and faster than what came before. So what sets Neuralink's approach apart? There are three key innovations driving their performance leap over previous brain implants. First is the flexibility and precision of their electrodes. Rather than rigid spikes, Neuralink uses thin polymer threads dotted with electrodes. This allows for better, less damaging integration with brain tissue. Second, their automated implantation robot. Named the R1, this AI-powered surgical bot can embed electrodes quicker and more accurately than a human, mitigating manual error, improve safety and consistency. Finally, the device itself is remarkably compact, basically a coin-sized wafer. This minimizes inflammation and scar tissue while packing more processing power per volume than past designs. Altogether, Neuralink is envisioning brain interfaces that are easier to install longer lasting, and higher performing. But how does this tech actually work? To understand Neuralink's approach, we need to quickly cover how the brain controls the body. Within our brains, neurons communicate through electrical signals called action potentials. These signals travel through neural pathways that connect to muscles and bodily systems. In spinal cord injuries and diseases like ALS, those pathways are damaged or degraded. Neural interfaces use electrodes to detect brain signals, bypass breaks in the wiring and stimulate muscles directly. This restores lost control and movement for the user. For quadriplegics, Neuralink aims to pick up signals in the motor cortex involved in hand and arm motion. Those signals are decoded by an external device and used to control a computer or a wheelchair, for example. As the tech improves, more complex actions like feeding oneself could become possible. This is the essential premise behind today's brain-computer interfaces. Neuralink is building on a concept with proven results, while pushing limits on longevity, signal quality, and user experience. Before human trials, Neuralink extensively tested their devices on animal models, almost 300 total surgeries so far on pigs, sheep, and monkeys. While not without setbacks, these tests advanced our understanding of electro biocompatibility and validation of motor recovery. And after years of gathering safety data, Neuralink finally received FDA approval for their first human trial last year in 2023. So what's in store as Neuralink transitions to humans? The first planned trial, called Precision Robotically Implanted Brain-Computer Interface Systems, or PRIME, will primarily assess safety and functionality of their device in quadriplegic patients. Set to kick off in 2024, the initial cohort will be relatively small, just 11 participants to start. But pending positive outcomes, Neuralink projects rapidly increasing trial groups in subsequent years. By 2027, they forecast almost 500 surgeries. Participants will have electrodes implanted via R1 robot over brain areas linked to hand and arm control. Every two months post-surgery, functionality and integration will be checked. And twice weekly, hour-long research sessions will let subjects use the interfaces to operate computers and robotic limbs. In total, it's a six-year trial with ongoing health monitoring throughout. Assuming all goes smoothly, the promise here is tremendous. Early users could regain self-feeding, typing, wheelchair mobility, basically restoring independence after a traumatic injury or disease. And as the tech matures, more advanced motor functions could be achievable within this decade. 
However, while hopes are high, hurdles remain. Neuralink's animal tests, though claimed internally as successes, faced outside scrutiny over health declines in monkeys. These investigations, while not conclusively linking their devices to harm, highlight worries over long-term safety. And competition is increasing. Well-funded startups like Synchron and Paradromics are rapidly developing their own neural tech. Legacy medical firms are sure to follow. Standing out from the pack will require flawless execution on Neuralink's lofty vision. Most daunting, perhaps, are the technical barriers of a healthy, durable brain interface. Past implants often fail within years, overgrown by scar tissue, blocking the thin electrode tips. Avoiding this fate remains an open challenge Neuralink must conquer. Stepping back, Neuralink's broad societal implications can't be ignored either. Beyond medical domains, brain augmentation provokes philosophical debates. Will such implants create new class divides? Should thought privacy terms be legislated? Can biases sneak into AI systems trained on someone's personal neural data? These are open questions requiring inclusive discourse. For Neuralink, though, the path forward focuses on iterative medical progress, proving safety, expanding functionality, and opening access for more neurological conditions. Staying narrowly dedicated to this purpose amidst zealous speculation will help guide development of one of humanity's most potent inventions. What lies ahead after 2024 could alter the trajectory of human history forever. The eventual merger between man and machine. Success here promises restoration for millions with with neurological conditions, while raising intriguing possibilities of brain augmentation beyond medical domains. And while forecasts should be tempered by healthy skepticism, with visionary leadership and patient focus, Neuralink has enormous potential to deliver transformative brain-computer integration within our lifetimes. And we'll be here every step of the way, keeping you updated on Neuralink's journey into uncharted scientific territories. So don't forget to subscribe to Quantum Spark and click that bell icon. We don't want you to miss any of the big tech breakthroughs. Weigh in with your hopes and concerns around this technology in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.